China's most powerful asset is its people. They fill the bustling cities, manufacturing for the world, making China its second largest economy. Their sheer numbers help power an economic boom that has seen living standards rocket for people like Sui Mingwei. Now it's much better. It's much better. So when I had my first children, there were no vegetables to eat. We didn't even have rice. And now, for example, we have chicken and duck, even more than we can eat. But with the population spiraling, in the 1970s, the government limited most couples to just one child. Though rural families can have two if the firstborn is a girl. It worked. If they hadn't, there would be 400 million more Chinese today. At the same time, the party encouraged villagers to leave the land and find work in the booming cities. Now you know it's all like this. No young people stay in the village. I have young children and old parents. If I stay at home doing farming, the income is really small. Here I do house cleaning and my husband usually works on city construction sites. Tsui Mingwei's daughter, Li Lushien, earns $250 a month cleaning houses, four times what most rural workers bring in, so she can support her children and her mother. But there is a price. She has to share a cramped apartment with two other families. There is no room for her children, and as she works seven days a week, no one to look after them. They have to stay with her mother in the countryside. <laughs> It's not ideal. I think it would be better if they stayed with me. But our conditions don't allow this. It's a practical solution to an increasingly common problem. Couples live and work in the city for higher wages, while rural relatives look after their child. Like college lecturer Li Run, who lives with his parents in Chongqing, while his daughter stays with his wife's family a thousand kilometers away. They support us very, very strongly and we need that support because they know jobs now for us are more important than looking after your, 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 your own child. For most of Chinese families, the monthly salary cannot support the whole family. So if one of us have no monthly income, then it's hard for us to, to support the whole uh, to look after the child and even to look after our parents. Looking after the elderly will soon be a huge challenge for China as a whole. Life expectancy has rocketed and within two decades a quarter of the population will be over 60, twice today's number. 40 million will be over 80. China faces another problem. The one-child policy has been so effective in curbing population growth that the workforce is now shrinking. China's current economic success has been built upon cheap labor. And uh, if the cheap labor, that variable is uh, taken away from the economy, uh, the success story will probably be ended. With fewer workers, wage costs are rising, making China less competitive with its neighbors it has to move away from being simply the factory of the world, churning out cheaply made goods. The future must be developed in China with Chinese designs and Chinese patents, or its companies will struggle to compete. I feel that brand development is important, and we need to do this step by step. We've been forced to do this because profits from basic processing will become lower year by year. The option for China is to actually uh, try very hard in terms of improving the quality of the human capital, meaning better education, uh, better paid, more technology, so moving up to the value chain in the global commodity uh, uh, trade and the production chain. Uh, this is the only way out for China. The government is addressing this. Five years ago, this high-tech zone was just farmland. By 2015, the government hopes it will be the world's leading laptop production centre. The authorities moved many local colleges here, 
and encourage tech giants to help design courses, so graduates can make a seamless transition to the world of work. Our college has cooperation projects with companies. Students can work there on internships. I think it's good because when students go on work experience, it broadens our horizons and we can learn a lot. The government too has learnt a lot. It's clear the one-child policy, although successful, has serious flaws. So much so, the party is now looking to relax it. But if it does, it will simply create even more young dependents, until this new generation can work. By then, after 20 more years of urbanisation, China will have a new problem, an empty and ageing countryside. Where will the food come from? That's very, very tough uh, uh, challenge uh, for China in the next 10, 20 or 30 years. Um, now, if we look at Chinese food production, in fact, the cost of food production in China is higher than the world average. This is the reason why so many Chinese decide not to produce food. It's not worth it. Today, China imports food, like soya, meat, even rice, and its appetite is increasing as it gets richer. If the country's numbers, as well as its wealth, continue to rise, it may be a pressure the planet simply cannot handle.